structured programming paradigm so what is a structured programming paradigm and what are the principles behind that and what are the programming languages that follow structured programming paradigm style so first the structured programming frequently employs a top down design model so what is a top down design model before discussing about this point we will try to relate our real world scenario with this uh, structured programming paradigm principle if suppose if you want to complete the tenth standard for that what you need to do you need to first complete the first standard and then you need to go to second standard and then third standard and then fourth till tenth standard here yeah, that is some hierarchy similarly in programming languages if suppose if you want to execute some statements if it follows top to bottom approach top to down bottom approach sorry top bottom approach then that could be considered as structured programming paradigm so for example if there are n number of statements in n uh, top to down the first statement would be executed first and then second and then third like that that is called top bot top down design model and then second point is structured programming was first suggested by cardo bohm and gcp jacobini these two mathematicians demonstrated that any programming language can be written with just three structures that three structures are decisions sequence and loops so for example if there is some condition for example if suppose if your age is above or if suppose if your age is equal or above than 18 age greater than equal to 18 then you are eligible to vote so if some condition is getting satisfied then it follows some separate flow of code if that condition is not getting satisfied then there would be some separate flow that is called decisions and then sequence sequences means if the the first statement would be executed first and then the second statement and then the third statement like that that is called sequence looping means if suppose if you want to execute the same set of statements for n number of times then you could use the looping statements so here for loop is the one of the widely used looping statements here if suppose if you want to execute this three lines for n number of times that n can be 10 100 1000 10000 like that it can be any number then you can use it loops these two mathematicians claim that any programming language can be written with these three structures itself but actually that statement was false when object oriented programming language came into existence and then there is the detailed explanation about the thing that i have discussed just before now structured programming is a programming paradigm aimed at improving the clarity quality and the development time of the program so if any programming language that follows structured programming paradigm then there would be quality and clarity and development uh, and then you could save some development time that was claimed by the people who uh, invented structured programming paradigm and then the last point which is important point in this video most of the programming paradigm uses structured programming paradigm languages features so these are the languages that follow structured programming paradigm style so for example halgol pascal hada c etc i haven't covered about covered about these languages but i have learned many things and i have done many coding in c language so c is the structured programming paradigm language